Hello everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to use ChatDB and why this app is honestly so cool if you work with a database. So first, what is ChatDB? It's a modern and intelligent database client that lets you interact with your database using natural language with the help of AI to make everything easier. That means you can either type your SQL manually like usual or you can describe what you want to do in your own word and ChatDB will generate the SQL for you. This is really helpful for me as a front-end web developer because I'm not super familiar with SQL but now using this app I can do pretty much anything I want in the database just by using natural language. So let's just see what we have on this um, website right here. I think on the very bottom we have the database support. As you can see there's a lot of supported database right here. There's a MySQL, a MongoDB, and PostgreSQL and a lot of things right. So how we can download that? If you see on the top right here on the navigation just go to download and then just select whatever you want to use. In this case, I use Mac and then I use Apple chip. So just click that, it will download the app. So after you download the app, you can just install it and open the app. So normally when you open the chat to DB app on the first time, you have to log in. I already log in with my Google account right here. As you can see, Chandev it login. And in here, you can go to settings and use this theme right here, right? You can just select any theme you want. In this case, I just want to leave a dark, right? So the first thing first, I'm going to connecting a database right here. I'm going to select a new connection and I'm going to select this my SQL basically because I have my SQL running on my local so I'm going to connecting that database on this chat to DB application so for the name I'm going to leave it at localhost is fine for the environment I'm going to use task in this case and storage I'm going to use local all right for the host is localhost and the port is uh, 3306 is basically the default port for the mysql and for the user i'm going to use root and for the password is basically i believe it's root at one two three that's my password for my mysql local for the database just leave it empty if you don't have driver right here I believe there is a download button right here. You can just click download driver and it will show the driver right here after the download is done. So uh, now let's try to click test. It will make a test connection. As you can see, the test connection is successful. So let's try to click save. So this is the database. So let's try to create new database. So I'm gonna click right on the local host. I'm going to make it bigger so you can see. Uh, let me make it bigger. So I'm going to click right on the local host and create a database, right? So in here, I'm going to give a name, uh, let's say chat to db block app or whatever name you want. As you can see, it will show you the preview of the SQL code right here. And I just want to click OK. It will uh, create the database. As you can see, we have the chat to db block app right here. If I click this icon, as you can see, the table is going to be empty for now. There is two ways to interact with AI in this chat to DB. First, you can use this chat right here, as you can see. But first, you have to make sure the data source it should be on your uh, database you want to asking to AI. So in this case, I'm going to select this chat to DB block app. And in here, you can just ask asking AI whatever you want to do, right? But I just like to asking AI on this um, SQL editor because we can just type in for slash and the input field will uh, pop up right here, right? So as you can see on the table, basically there is no table. This is just empty. So now let's try to create table using a um, natural language. So let's try to click for slash and in here I'm going to say create me a table. Uh, I'm going to call that table users. So on that user table, I have um, ID right name email should be unique and create add as a daytime so uh, this is the natural language right so let's try to hit enter and see what we have and hopefully um, this ai will generate the sql code for us as you can see this is the sql code create table called user that have id id is integer it is auto increment this is primary key 
and also we have name as a var jar that have 255 character and cannot be null and email is unique as you can see create at is date time and the default is current timestamp great so now let's try to run that code as you can see, this is successful. Now, as you can see on the right side here, we have the user table. If I click that, of course, we have this ID, name, email, and create ad. That's beautiful. So now let's try to generate dummy data on that user table. So here I'm going to say, insert five dummy user into the ad user. This is the way we mention the table. So we can use ad basically. And then here I'm going to say table, right? Insert five dummy users into the add users table. So in here, you can just select like, um, any AI you want. I just want to leave a cloud three, seven sonnet and I'm going to click enter and see what we have. And here we go. We have that code. So here is basically we'll insert into the chat DB block app database inside the user table name and email and the value for the name is john doe the email is right here and etc so let's try to run this uh, block of sql code right here i'm going to click this one and see what we have as you can see this is successful let's try to see on the user table right here i'm going to click refresh and as you can see we have that data that's pretty cool right so now let's try to create another table and yep i still want to use my natural language so as you can see now i'm going to create a table called post with id user id as a for n key to users id right it's basically have relation to the user and title content as a text publish ad and status as an enum with value draft and publish so let's try to hit enter and see what we have all right, as you can see, now the AI, it's generated SQL for us. And as you can see, the code is create table post with ID and user ID integer, title, varchar, content text, publish at date time, and status is basically enum that have draft and publish. All right, so let's try to just run this code. As you can see, uh, it's successful. Now we have to table post and user. So let's try to open the post. And here we go. That's the post table. So let's try to generate a dummy uh, data inside the post table. Really easy. So here we can just open the input field again. So here I'm going to say inserts five dummy blog posts into the post table. We mentioned table right here. That's why in here we are going to use add, right? Just select the post table like this. And then just remove this post right here. So inserts five dummy blog posts into the post table each post should belong to a different user have a title content publish and status either draft or publish let's try to hit enter and see what we get all right as you can see it generated for us really great i just want to close this chat right here it's basically insert into post user id title content publish add and status and this is the value really really great so now let's try to run this block of SQL code. I'm going to run that. And as you can see, it's successful. Let's go to post right here. I'm going to refresh and see what we have. As you can see, we have the ID and user ID right here. That's amazing. I mean, look at that. How cool is this? So let's try to create another table for, uh, for comments. Let's open uh, input field right here. And I'm going to paste this prompt right here, create a table called comments with ID, post ID as a for and key to post. All right. This have relation to the post table and outer name as a for char content as a text and create add as a date time with a default to current timestamp. Right. So let's try to hit enter right here. So as you can see, the AI is done. And then we have this create table comment with ID, post ID, outer name. And the post ID is basically have uh, this uh, relation with the post table, right? That's amazing. So let's try to run that. Here we go. We have that comment table and it's empty. So now let's try to generate dummy data for the comment. I'm going to click a uh, four slash and let's type the prompt. So here I'm going to say insert 10 dummy comments across different blog posts with random outer name and content. 
So let's try to hit enter. All right, so this is what we have. As you can see, it will insert into the comment table post ID. So let's take a look to the comment. We have post ID, author name, content, and create ad. Let's take a look right here. Post ID, author name, comment, content. Uh, Flip should be just content, not comment content. So let's try to remove the comment. Here we go. And create ad. All right. So let's try to run this um, SQL. I'm going to run it. Let's take a look. This is successful. Let's try to refresh this comment table. And as you can see, we have that data. That's pretty cool. All right. So now we have that table. And then I just want to ask a uh, different thing right now. So let's try to open a uh, first class. And then as you can see, I'm, I'm going to get the number of comments for each post ordered by the most commented. So let's try to hit enter and see what we have in here. So as you can see, the SQL code is generated. We have select post id count as comment count we have from comments group by post id order by comment count the scanning so let's try to run all of this i'm going to click this icon right here and as you can see basically the number of comment for each post as you can see right here post id uh id1 have comment 3 post id2 have comment 3 post id3 have comment 1 post id5 have comment 1 but I like to have also need to see the title of the post basically. So I'm going to paste this one right here. Also show me the title of the post and the outer name. So let's try to click that. So as you can see, this is the code basically. I just want to remove the first one right here on the top. And now we just have this one right here, select, title, and etc. I don't really know about SQL, but let's try to run it. I'm gonna click this one right here. And as you can see, basically we get the response so this getting started with with sql is basically have three comment these posts have three comment it's written by jen smith and etc so we have that it's pretty cool so for example i just want to change uh, the post right here maybe the user with id one have to post basically i'm going to hit enter as you can see now this user with id1 basically have to post right if i want to save this one i just click this icon eyes right here click that and we have this um, sql code click this icon and it will successful great so now i'm going to asking to ai to show that um post basically so i'm gonna say show the name and email of user who have written more than one post we know the guy is basically have user one so let's take a look what is the name is john do right let's try to see i hope this is uh, works so let's try to hit enter so as you can see this is the sql code let's try to run it and here we go we have john do with this email that's beautiful. It works basically. So now I'm going to asking AI to do the data manipulation. So I'm going to use this uh, AI chat. I just want to show you the different way to interact with AI. So uh, just make sure we're on the chat DB block app. And in here, I'm going to say update the title of the post with ID2 to update blog post. Because now ID2, all right, is basically the future of AI. I asking AI. AI to basically change the title to update blog post, right? So let's try to run it. So this is basically the code. We can just run it uh, right here or I just click this pin right here. It basically will put that uh, SQL code into the SQL editor and let's try to run it. And hopefully now it run. As you can see, it's successful. Let's try to go to post table and I just want to refresh and hopefully this title now is updated. Refresh it. And as you can see, update blog post. So basically not all posts is published, right? So I'm gonna show you the column of status right here. Uh, this one is published and the other, the, another thing is draft. So let's try to change all of that to publish using AI. So I just want to use this prompt right here. I'm gonna say change the status of all draft posts to publish. Let's try to hit enter and see what this AI can do for us. Let me just see. AI is initialize user input. And here we go. We have that uh, SQL code. Let's try to click this icon. And then I just want to uh, remove this update on the top. Let's try to run this one. Click that. And it's successful. Let's go back to post. 
and as you can see if i refresh all status will be published right now that's pretty amazing so not only generate sql code this ai can generate a chart basically so let's try to uh, say generate a bar chart showing the number of posts each user has written so let's try to hit enter here and as you can see the ai is basically will generate a bar chart for us let's see and not only that we can just also download the file as a png or whatever you want it will can be downloaded and as you can see the first thing is the ai is check if the code is works after it works it will show the bar chart as you can see right here that's the beautiful and i can just click this right here i can export to image if i want all right i can click that and as you can see i just can download it on my uh, machine that amazing i can click this one right here and i can um, basically create a dashboard so i'm gonna say my uh, chat to db block app just like this i'm gonna click create and then let's try to click this uh, dashboard i'm gonna click ok so now the image will be saved into my dashboard right here as you can see we have this image that's pretty great you can basically generate whatever you want to do in this um, input AI and you can just put that value on the dashboard and the great thing is if you do manipulation data on your database this chart will basically change automatically based on the newest data on your database that is amazing for example you remove the david wilson user it also will remove the chart right here and another feature that i'm going to show you is basically the er model so let's go back to the table right here i'm going to click right and click this er model as you can see we have this visualize of the database as you can see the connection between the table is like this right it's really useful if you have really big database not only that as you can see down here we even can download that it's really really cool so yep that's it guys for this video hope this helpful and if you want to download the chat to db link is going to be on the description so see you on the next video